Hello, friend Mormo here. I'm in downtown Branson. I just got done doing, getting some copies made at Postnet with my friend at the copy store. And I just had to get some paperwork taken care of. And uh, I'm downtown to try and sell my art cards. I'm gonna s sell 20 art cards for 15 bucks. And uh, I think that's a pretty good deal. And hopefully I can find some places interested. And uh, so I'm just gonna look around and um, hopefully find some gift shops I can talk to. And like right here, Miss Linney's Boutique, Branson, Missouri, Peddler Pete's Trading Post. Let's give it a try. Okay, so they weren't open. So I'm gonna try this place here. Peter Engel Designs, local art, gifts, wood carving, local art. I'm gonna give them a try. So keep watching, keep watching. Okay, so I talked to a really nice lady. She said it was good art and that it was a good idea, but that it wouldn't fit with her um, shop. I went ahead and left a card with her just in case she changes her mind, but now I'm gonna try this um, Peddler Pete's trading post. So keep watching, keep watching. Okay, so they said they don't do any purchasing, but they um, just rent out to vendors. And I told her maybe I could partner with a vendor. And, um, and she said I should go to their Facebook page and make a post there. And that, um, And that maybe one of their vendors would want to partner with me. Let's see. Here's Bowlands Art, local fine art, jewelry, wood carvings, pottery, bronze sculptures, taxidermy, home decor. They got some real nice stuff. So let me go in and see what I can do. Keep watching. Okay, so that was in a really amazing shop. They had incredible artwork in there. And, um, but unfortunately the person in charge wasn't there at the time. They said he might be back later. I, I left a card with him. And, uh, <coughs> um, I'm out of cards already to leave with people, unfortunately, but uh, keep watching. I'm going to keep trying, keep watching. Okay, friends, so there's music playing. I'm going to walk away from the music, but um, they told me to go to somebody else, somebody I already been to, but you can see across the street, there's this, um, Kilroy's local market, free samples, gift souvenirs and more. So I'm gonna try there and uh, keep watching. Thanks so much, keep watching. Okay friends, so so far I'm having no luck. It's off season and money is probably tight everywhere. Um, everybody's been real nice to me. But uh, I found this place called the Transylvania Bakery and Cafe. And um, they got bagels, chicken salad, Reuben special, Transylvania sandwich panini, cabbage rolls. So I think I'm gonna go in and try and get a coffee. And keep watching, keep watching.
Alright friends, so I'm done for the day. It's 5 o'clock. Everybody's, all the gift shops are closed now. Um, I wish I would have talked to my friend Yak, but I didn't. But, um, I probably pitched like 10 different people with no luck. The pawn shop said they don't do art. Um, there was a gift shop that asked if I was a Christian and a veteran and so that didn't work out I went into a theater that where they have music performances and asked them if they had a gift shop and they said no so that didn't work out I think people probably take one look at me and go and they're just an instant no, like, that's why I need a sales agent who's like a good old boy or a good old girl to help me out and just explain that the artist is like mentally disabled and just wants money for coffee and stuff. And But I didn't sell any cards. I gave out like three cards. That's one lesson I learned is that I should, um, I should have brought more cards to give away, give the shop owner one card to hold on to in case they change their mind. I think I only bought, brought three extra cards and, uh, and nobody, nope, and then I ran out, so next time. I'll bring more extra cards to give away. Um, some people were bummed that there was only one one card. They wanted like different kinds of cards. So next time if I can show up with a couple different kinds of cards, that might help. Overall, everybody was really friendly. It's probably the wrong time of year for people to make purchases because it's like, um, it's like the tail end of the slow season and stuff. But, uh, this coffee is delicious, by the way. This coffee I got at Transylvania Bakery. The guy was real nice. He had a real heavy accent. I couldn't understand him really, but he was really friendly and uh, they had some delicious looking food in there. I'll definitely have to go back and try the, uh, and try and have lunch or breakfast there one of these days or something. So it was an unsuccessful day, but I'm not gonna let that bum me out or anything. At least I got some exercise. I talked to some people. The more sales pitches I do, the better I'll be at it. It seemed like a really good deal, a product that retails or that wholesales for 75 cents and then you mark it up to three dollars or five dollars a piece like I don't know if I explain that properly or not I think I, I probably just throw off like real messed up vibes and people just don't want to do business with me that's why again I've said this a couple times now but that's why I need like a good old boy or a good old girl as a sales agent somebody who can represent me and I may or may not find that through um, the smack guild that I joined south wet southern Missouri art connection I may or not be able to find a um, a sales agent through them. My listing on um, 
Facebook Marketplace may or may not work. The one place told me I should post on there. Um, Facebook page, but I can't remember what it was called. I, I'll rewatch the video and then I can figure it out. But they told me if I post it on their Facebook page, I might be able to hook up with one of their vendors. <laughs> but I'm like double fisting beverage. I spent way too much money on beverages today. <clears throat> I bought this coffee and I also bought a large iced tea. So I got way too many beverages. It's way too warm out for me to wear a jacket. I should have taken my jacket off because now I'm sweating. Yeah, I'm not gonna let it bum me out though. I'll keep trying, keep figuring ways to sell my cards. I think the card, like I think the cards are good for this market, but that could be like me being the 90s baby and like back in the 90s hillbillies were really in in Branson and now Branson's kind of gone away from that but I'm trying to bring it back you know anyways thanks so much for watching I'll put a link to my eBay store in the description if you want to check out what cards I have for sale. And thanks so much.